Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. This is iOS 12. You can see my iPhone has been updated to iOS 12. This is Beta 1. I have not unlocked the device yet, so I just want to do a quick disclaimer at the beginning of the video. This is not an in-depth feature review. This is a literal first impressions, um, first look for me at iOS 12. I didn't get to watch very much of the keynote for the iOS portion, so this is going to be me going in, finding new features, and seeing what's new. Um, so right out of the box here, we have this calls and notifications where we silenced um, alert. I don't know if I have do not disturb on. Let me unlock it with face. I actually have to do my passcode because I haven't turned it on yet. Um, I think I have do not disturb on. Um, I don't have a SIM card in this device right now because I'm using my OnePlus 6. But I do have um, do not disturb on. So you can see here, we do get a little notification saying calls and notifications will be silenced. Um, so I have some tweets here, um, and this is going to be one of the first things, one of the main features of iOS 12 is going to be grouped notifications. So you can see these are stacked. Um, so if I tap these, I can get all my Twitter notifications only, and my other ones remain stacked. And I can clear all the Twitter notifications, or I can show less, and it will restack the notifications. And then also I can clear all my notifications in general. So that is really nice. That is the... Um, one of the main features of notifications is the stack notifications and your group notifications. Um, looks like we have some new icons and settings here, such as sounds and haptics. Um, basically your same settings though, there's no new settings or anything to change. Um, I don't know if there's any new ringtones at the moment because I really don't remember what was in iOS 11 to begin with. Um, control Center, looks like we have the same thing. We do have an option. Um, a scan QR code, um, so it looks like a built-in QR code scanner, um, a hearing section for the hearing aid support in iOS, that is new, um, battery, not much usage on this one right now because I haven't done anything, everything with the battery health beta is still the same, let's see, um, we do have some new voice memo um, icons and stuff like that as well. Let's see, let's go to general here and see if we have anything new. Nothing there. Uh, here is the screen time. So one of the new screen time um, options is you can see how much you've been using your device, how many notifications you're getting a day, and averaging and stuff like that. So there's a splash screen for that. You can continue or you can set it up as a parent. Um, if you're a parent, you can get reports for your child's screen time, set limits, restrictions, content, um, and privacy settings in this app as well. Um, so I've just, just enabled it there, you can see six minutes. Um, so we can set a screen time passcode. Again, that's probably if you're a parent. Um, you can turn off screen time. So I guess revert it back to when you hit continue on the, on the splash screen. Um, so if you have more than one child, you can set up uh, screen time for family and you can manage those um, children's devices. You can also set restriction here restrictions here to block inappropriate um, content, choose stuff that is always allowed, um, so apps that are always allowed to be used, um, app limits, app time limits, and that, that resets every day at midnight, so that's going to be a 24-hour kind of thing. Um, downtime, so this um, downtime is scheduled time away from the screen, so if you want to try to use your device less, you can turn this on and customize what notifications and calls you get. Um, so only you only get important notifications and you're not getting those you know notifications from games and stuff like that um, helping you use your device less so in here um, we can see you know how often you pick up your phone the most pickups uh, the time range for that how many notifications you're getting so these are the notifications that when my phone turned on they were already there so we're at 30 right now um, it will tell you how many per hour and stuff like that as well I'll probably do a dedicated video on the screen time app because um, it looks like there's a lot in here that you can do. Um, do not disturb. Um, do not disturb while driving. That is still the same. Um, it should, when you silence it, always or when your phone is locked. Who can call you? That that kind of stuff is all still the same. Um, same thing for the show previews. Always when unlocked or never. So it doesn't look like we have any in here that are different. Um, we do have some different screens right here. So you can choose which alerts you get. So instead of it being the banner style showing up right here, you can choose whether you get alerts on the lock screen, in notification center, or banners. 
So if you don't want something to show up in Notification Center, but you still want to get a banner or a lock screen um, notification for it, you can do that, which is kind of nice. You can customize that um, per app. So that is pretty cool. Um, face ID and passcode should be about the same. I know you can use Face ID now um, when your device is in other orientations, like if you have it in landscape, Face ID will still work. Looks like everything for the settings wise for that is also still the same. Um, so nothing much else in settings. Uh, let me see if there are any new apps or anything like that. I don't think there were. Let's see, the system apps, you just have some new um, like voice memo icons and compass icons and stuff like that. But I don't see anything new that wasn't there before. Um, there is some new stuff with the Apple Watch, such as like walkie talkie. Um, I haven't downloaded the beta for the Apple Watch yet, so I'm going to save that for a little bit later. Um, but I'm really loving the notification center, how it has those stacked icons and that calls and notifications will be silenced. So it tells you that, um, it tells you right up front and center that that's going to be silenced. Um, there was something weather wise that I saw when you woke the screen up. I don't, I don't see the setting for that though. It said like good morning and it had the, the time and the weather. I'm not seeing an option to turn that on right now. Um, I don't know if that was something that was a beta or not out yet. We do have um, a new wallpaper right here. I'm going to go ahead and set that to both. I actually kind of like that wallpaper. Um, but I'm not seeing any setting for that weather thing. Let me check the weather app real quick um, and see if it is in there. There's no settings in the weather app, so I'm not not seeing that. Um, I'll have to play around with it a little bit more in it when I make another video after I've used this for a bit. Like I said, this is the first time turning on the device since I've done that. Um, so this is my first time going through it. But if I find that feature, I'll go ahead and let you guys know um, in my next video. I'm just not seeing it right now. So that's most of the new stuff. Um, no UI changes really other than those new icons. Most of the stuff is going to be getting iOS 12 to be extremely stable um, and much more reliable than past versions of iOS. But like I said, we do have that screen time. Um, you know, there's new do not disturb uh, UI changes and some new stuff with notifications. So that is pretty cool. That is my first impressions um, and the new features so far that I have found in iOS 12 beta 1. Um, these features may be added or removed in future betas, so keep that in mind. And like I said, there could be a lot more stuff added on um, in beta 2 and 3 and 4 and so on. Apple tends to do that where they make sure everything's working, you know, the base version of iOS is working first before they start throwing a bunch of features at it. So hopefully we'll see a few more later on. They might add a dark mode in iOS 12, maybe a 12.1, 12.2, something like that. Hopefully we'll see that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. This has been Colin with TechOut, and as always, have a great day. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.